first couple of weeks. Uh, the secondary, a couple of guys banged up. What's it been like so far with uh, some of the younger guys filling in? Oh, it's been very good. You know, the young guys, you know, st especially at corner for us, Martin and um, Jada coming to step up, you know, giving us a blow between game. That's been very good for us. How much has it helped having young guys like that? Like those kind of charismatic? Yeah, and you know, getting those guys ready, you know, not if we don't play them, you know, you can't expect them to be ready for next year. So we're just trying to get them ready, you know, especially when they go into the meat of this schedule. So we're going to need those guys. What have you seen from Kentucky on film so far? What stands out about them? Um, they like to run the ball, wildcat stuff. They try to throw it deep to 14, the big guy. They like 6'5", former basketball player. Um, they try to get one, I think one ain't better receiver. They try to give him the ball in many ways. So we just got to do our job at the end of the day. How are they maybe a little bit different than they were last year? Um, I feel like they were the same, but I think they just relied on, on the running back, Benny Snell, last year for a lot. But I feel like they try to, you know, get all they got the ball this year. What's it like prepping for a quarterback who's got, like, one game on film, basically, in that <laughs> yeah. offense? Yeah, I, I seen it on Finn, the other quarterback. He hurt. Mm -hmm. He tore his ACL. So, we still got to prepare for him the same way as we were going to prepare for any quarterback. What have you seen from him? Like, just maybe um, a little bit that you've seen? I feel like, you know, I, the old quarterback, he was a better runner mm -hmm. than he is. But I feel like he could still run. Mm -hmm. He do They do some similarities. You guys, obviously, uh, had uh, a challenging weekend last weekend with you know, Cam you know, being out for the ball game. And how does that kind of adjust the rotation a little bit when the guy like Cam, the starter, is, is missing in action? Um, it didn't really hurt us too bad. You know, like I said, J Dub and Martin just ready, you know, getting you know, those guys ready the way Cole Book prepared us for a game. So they were going to be good to go either way. What's Coach Buck been like in practice this week after some of the, the coverage bus last weekend? Uh, we just got to be a little more detailed, a little bit more focused, I feel like. What is a practice with Coach Buck like? Um, <laughs> some, it just depends on what days it is. Him. <laughs> like some days he want to scream, some days he just chill, but he's a good coach. Jaron was talking about how he's kind of like, having, he's a guy that, you know, Heisman runner-up, yeah. basketball fan. What, yeah. What's it like <laughs> playing for a guy like that? And he always tried to tell y'all I'd never be good as me and stuff like that. You know, when we try to argue, he always got that edge over us. So we like to joke around with him. So he reminds you about all the things he did when he was in college? Yeah, oh, yeah, always. He a little cocky. He <laughs> <laughs> was back then, too. Yeah, he very – that's all, I think, Florida State guys. They all cocky. Is it all Florida State guys or is it all corners? Uh, I feel like corny got to be a little cocky too. <laughs> you know, you out there on the island by yourself, so you got to feel like you're the best. Tell us about how you are, or maybe doing so well tackling this year because once you, your corners get your guy, you seem to bring them down. Yeah. Oh, we work that every day with Coach Buck. You know, we see it in the games, like when we watch a film, or sometimes we went tackling good, or like Kansas State on one play, we wasn't tackled good. So we got to always incorporate tackling mechanics and everything we do. You mentioned Coach Buck being kind of a vocal guy. Yeah. Obviously, you guys got a pretty vocal group of guys just as, yeah. a, as a secondary. What's it like? What's that dynamic like? How, how nice is it to have a coach that's kind of in that same vein? Oh, it's always we always been like that, especially with Coach Buck. You know, he always try to keep us together, and we just always have fun. It's never too serious because you're not you're not having no fun with it. It's not. It's gonna be a long season. <laughs> Jaren was saying that he's kind of like he's kind of like a father figure and a brother wrapped into one. He's yeah, kind of, he's kind of the same. Yeah, I feel like he said he said that. Well, yeah, we'll cope up. Sure.